I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think I just found the perfect cinema rig for the FX3. It's lightweight, compact, and perfect for solar filmmakers. Check this out. All right, just to let you guys know, this video is not sponsored by any gear company. However, there are a lot of rig components that are from small rig. So starting off, I chose to use a small rig cage for the Sony FX3. Now me personally, I thought this camera cage was perfect because it protects the body of the camera just in case I dropped it or I banged it on something. And then the other thing that it allows me to do is add some key components that I really need. This cage comes with a bunch of quarter inch screws that are all on the top and the sides of the cage. It also comes with a natal rail module and a U-shaped cage module. It also has this little hinge arm that you can move to slide the battery in and out. And I thought a nice little bonus touch was the fact that they added this little screwdriver flathead at the bottom of the cage, which I know every filmmaker can appreciate. And the next thing that I added was this nice little compact V-mount battery system, again by Small Rig. And what I really love about this mounting system is the fact that it attaches right to the bottom of the cage. One thing that was super important to me was the ability to not have to add extra things that I didn't need, such as a, a bottom plate and rails and just anything that made this camera a little too heavy. So the fact that this V-mount battery system, you're able to just attach to the bottom of the cage and it's really tight and close to the camera, just makes me feel like I still am rocking like a little mini DSLR or a little mini cinema camera, which is perfect for solo filmmakers. The other cool thing about this is that it has the ability to bend all the way back so you can move the Sony screen in and out of the way. And if you need to, you could actually slide this back a little bit away from the screen just in case that's something that you wanna do or how you wanna shoot. And what's great about this V-mount system is the fact that it has multiple options to attach quick release plates. So you can go from this compact handheld rig to a tripod in just seconds. Now for battery choice, I was using the Indie Pro V-mount batteries, but if I'm being honest, they were just a little bit too big and bulky for me. So I switched over to, again, small rig, the small rig battery. And the reason why I really love this small rig battery is because it comes with an LCD screen that tells you exactly the percentage of battery life that you have left. And then it also comes with um, USB-A and USB-C options to plug something in, which is exactly what you need to power your FX3. For my top handle, you guys guessed it. I went with the handle that comes with the FX3, mainly because of the incredible audio benefits that it comes with. The top handle allows you to record 24-bit audio. It supplies phantom power, so I can use high-end microphones, and it comes with two XLR ports. All you have to do is add an XLR cable from the mic to the XLR input on the handle, and you're good to go. Personally, I thought that this was well-designed. My only issue is that the handle was really short. That's why I added this handle extender from Small Rig. Well, it just gives me more space to move my hand around the handle or get a better grip on the handle, especially when I wanna shoot low angled shots or get those running motion shots, this definitely comes in handy. For my monitor, I'm using a five inch monitor from a company called Shimble. It does exactly what I need it to do. And that's giving me accurate focus peaking. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it also helps that it comes at a very affordable price. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave all of this stuff in the description down below. So if you guys wanna check out any of this stuff, I'll make sure I section everything off and you guys can take a look at all this stuff and see if it's right for you. Now, for my microphone, I'm using an NTG3. I think it's a great microphone for the price and I've been using it for years. I also suggest getting yourself a short XLR cable with a right angle because that's gonna help you just have a little bit cleaner of a setup and give you a little bit more room when it comes to adding this to your FX3 cage. And I attach it by using the FX3 top handle mic mount. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's not my favorite mic mount. And if you wanna use your mic with this mount without the microphone shaking all over the place, then you're gonna need to buy yourself this rubber piece that attaches to your microphone so that it actually fits in the mic mount and it doesn't move around. I also added a side handle and I don't think that this is extremely necessary for a lot of people, but I do like having that extra point of contact. And this particular handle also has a place to attach additional things on top of it, which I thought is really useful and helpful, especially if you wanna keep a very small compact rig. And the other thing that I really like about this handle is that it's adjustable. It's not stuck in one place. So if you need to, you know, rotate it up or down to handle whatever, you know, filming situation that you're in, you can easily do that. In my opinion, this rig setup is perfect for me because it definitely adds some weight that's needed. And some of you guys might be thinking, well, why do you want to add weight to the FX3? Don't you kind of want to keep it a small form factor and keep it lightweight? And the truth is, yes, you definitely do. But the issue with the FX3 is that it's so light to the point where if you're doing a lot of handheld stuff with it, if you just try to shoot it with a top handle or just the FX3 alone, you're going to pick up on all those little micro jitters that you're going to naturally get as you're moving around and as you're 
trying to capture shots. And that's definitely gonna affect the look of your footage. And there's no stabilization that's gonna take out a bunch of little micro jitters that you're gonna get with just holding this camera. So by adding the cage and the battery and a top handle and a monitor, it gives it just a little bit more weight. Now, another thing that could definitely help you guys is shooting on a wide angle lens, especially when you're running handheld, you know, something like an 18 or a 24 millimeter, that's gonna take away a lot of those little movements that you get in your footage. So just think about that as well when you are choosing, you know, the lens to shoot a scene for. But overall, I think that this rig for the FX3 is perfect. It's light, it's compact. It has everything that you need to create high quality video. And if I'm being honest with you guys, this FX3 and this particular rig is replacing my Ursa 12K Cinema rig on a lot of, you know, smaller end projects that I shoot for because it's just a lot easier to pick up and take out and use. Everything is right there. It's really simple to charge all the batteries. It's perfect for the solo filmmaker. And that's really why I decided to make this video for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are doing a lot of running gun documentary style things. A lot of you guys hit me up with questions like, what should I get if I'm a solo filmmaker trying to make a documentary or just trying to shoot cinematic content? And I think that this little rig, again, gives you everything that you need. Good power, monitoring, audio it has everything you need in one small little package so i really hope this helps you guys either start or finish your fx3 rigs and if you guys want any suggestions or you guys have any comments please drop them down below and i'll try to get to whatever questions that you guys have about this rig or any other attachments that you want to add to this rig and like i said earlier i linked all of this stuff in the description down below so if you guys want to check any of that stuff out go ahead and do that it also helps support the channel which helps allow me to make more videos like this and uh hang out with you guys more so I like to thank you guys for stopping in and hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.